everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel. And welcome back to the 1991 playoffs in Payoff Pitch Baseball. We're expecting another sellout at Dodger Stadium as the fans are starting to file in for Game 4 of the National League Championship Series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Los Angeles Dodgers. We'll take a look at our most updated standings here. In the American League, we saw the Royals manage to evade the, the Kansas City Royals managed to evade the death blow from the Oakland Athletics. Oakland now leads that series three games to one. Game five will be on Saturday. Over in the National League, we see that the Los Angeles Dodgers are in the same trouble to the Pittsburgh Pirates, currently trailing that their National League Championship Series three games to nothing to the Pirates. Fans are filing into Dodger Stadium, and it is looking like it's going to be a sea of blue this morning. We're expecting a sellout for this one. With that, let's move into let's meet our starting pitchers, and first up, we'll meet the starting pitcher for the Pirates. Both of our starting pitchers today won their respective Game 4s in the NLDS. The Pirates defeated the Mets behind the performance of Bob Walk. Bob Walk 9-2 with a 3.60 ERA, 115 innings pitched, 104 hits, 10 homers, 35 strikeouts, and 67 walks in 91. He will be in charge of keeping the Dodgers lineup in check today. With that, we can go ahead and meet the starting lineup for the or the starting pitcher for the Dodgers, and we'll take our first look at Dodger Stadium. Starting pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers is Bob Ojeda, 12 and 9 with a 3.18 ERA, 189 and a third innings pitched, 181 hits, 15 homers, 70 walks, and 120 strikeouts in 91. Dodger Stadium, slightly a pitcher's park. A little bit more friendly to lefties, but not much. 1 to 40 on a ballpark check to get to wheelhouse. 1 to 37 for righties. So any switch hitters will be batting lefty this morning to take advantage of a slightly less punishing wheelhouse. With that, of course, the Dodgers beat the Braves in their NLDS behind Bob Ojeda. With that, let's move over to the main game area and check the shot over there. There is not an empty seat to be found for Friday morning baseball today. It is a sea of blue at Dodger Stadium. So with that, the pregame festivities are starting to wrap up. So let's go ahead and play ball. As the Dodgers start getting loose in the field, let's take our first look at the Pirates starting lineup. Leading off, We'll have Don Slott catching, Jose Linda's at second base, Barry Bonds is in left field, Bobby Bonilla is at third base, Lloyd McClendon is at first base, Jay Bell is at shortstop, Gary Reedus is in right is in right field, Andy Van Slyke is in center field, and Bob Walk is batting off of pitcher hitting card 10. Bob Ojeda, of course, is a left-handed pitcher. Dodgers are loose in the field. So leading off the top of the first for the Pirates will be Don Slott. He didn't hit any homers against left-handed pitching in 91. We are going to be using blue and white dice today. Dodgers are the home team. Game four of the NLCS. Pirates win. They get some rest before the World Series. Dodgers win. Game five will be Saturday afternoon. Fast score house rule is turned off. The Pirates have to land the death blow themselves and the Dodgers have to evade it themselves. The, there's not an empty seat to be found in Dodger Stadium, and that's the second time I'm dropping dice today. Will the Pirates get to the World Series, or will the Dodgers prolong this series? There's only one way to find out, and that's to see what story the dice will tell. And to find out what story the dice will tell, we have to go to the first pitch. Three is going to be a wheelhouse check, but a 97 is going to be a fly ball into left field. Getting under that one is going to be Gwynn. He'll make the catch. That will be the first out of the inning. And we are underway in game four of the National League Championship Series. Here's Jose Lind. Two of his three homers coming against left-handed pitching. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. Lind will brace for the pitch. Ojeda will wind up, and here's the pitch. Three is a wheelhouse 87, and it's a ground ball over to short. 
Griffin will get to that one. He'll make the catch, and that will be the second out of the inning. Ojeda is looking a little bit shaky. He's pitched up a couple of meatballs, but neither Slot nor Lind has been able to take advantage of it. Here's Barry Bonds. Seven of his, 18, uh, seven of his 25 homers coming against left-handed pitching. Ojeda knows he does not want to pitch another meatball, especially to Bonds. But Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. Here will come the windup, and here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a tough 89, and that's going to be a ground ball over to second. This time it'll be Juan Samuel getting to that. He'll make the play, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Pirates in the top of the first. With the score, Pittsburgh zero, Los Angeles coming to bat. As walk starts to get loose in the, as the Pirates start to get loose in the field, we'll take our first look at the Dodgers starting lineup. Leading off, we'll have Lenny Harris at third base. Juan Samuel, we've already had to call his name at second. Daryl Strawberry in right field. Brett Butler is in center field. Eddie Murray is at first base. Chris Gwynn is in left field. Gary Carter's catching. Alfredo Griffin is at shortstop. And Bob Ojeda is hitting off of pitcher hitting card eight. And that's the lineup Walk is charged with keeping in check. Leading off the top, the bottom of the first for the Dodgers is Lenny Harris. Two of his three home runs coming against right-handed pitching, and Walk is a righty. Walk will get the sign from Walk will get the sign from Slot. He will set. Here's the windup, and here comes the pitch. Five is going to be an in place 67. That's going to be a ground ball over to short. Picking that one up will be Bell. He'll make the play for the first out of the inning. And here's Juan Samuel. Samuel hit five of his 12 homers against right-handed pitching in 91. Walk gets the sign, gets the sign from Slot. Walk will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a tough 40, and Samuel's going to swing through the high heat for strike three for the second out of the inning. And here is the ever-dangerous Daryl Strawberry. 17 of his 28 home runs coming against right-handed pitching. Walk gets the sign from Slot. He will wind up. Here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a tough 77. And it's going to be a fly ball into center field. Andy Van Slyke will range in for that one a little bit, but he'll have plenty of room before the infield. He'll make the catch, and that will retire the side. One, two, three will go the Dodgers in the bottom of the first, and we are scoreless after one. Top of the second, and we'll see the middle of the Pirates order do up next. Ojeda finishes up his warm-up tosses as stepping into the batter's box to lead off the top of the second for the Pirates is Bobby Bonilla. 14 of his 18 home runs coming against left-handed pitching. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. Dodger Stadium on their feet. Here is the windup, and here is the pitch. Three is a wheelhouse 53, and Bobby Bonilla is going to draw first blood as the top of the second starts with a boom! That ball is hit high. That ball is hit deep to right field. Strawberry going back for that one. He's back to the track, back to the wall, and it's just gonna clear the just gonna clear the wall. Home run, Bobby Bonilla. Ojeda was pitching a fair amount of meatballs today, and Bonilla is the is the one who finally takes one out, and the score is now one nothing in favor of the Pirates. Stadium groans. Ugh. Oh, we just had Bobby Bonilla. Here's Lloyd McClendon. Six of his seven home runs coming against left-handed pitching. Ojeda's got to have a short memory on that solo bomb to Bonilla. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. He will wind up. Here's the pitch. 
Five is going to be a tough 72. And McClendon's going to ground that one over to second. Getting to that one is going to be Samuel. He'll make the play, and that will be the first out of the inning. Here's Jay Bell. Six of his 16 home runs coming against left-handed pitching in 91. Ojeda gets the sign from Carter. Ojeda will wind up, and here's the pitch. Five is a tough 48. And again, against the lefty, that's going to be a line drive right to short. Griffin will put up his glove in self-defense, and the ball will slam into it for the second out of the inning. Here's Gary Reedus. Five of his seven home runs coming against left-handed pitching. Ojeda, has, Ojeda giving up a solo bomb the first Pirates run of the day. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Seven is a tough 50, and that's going to be just a little bit too high. That's going to be a ground ball over to third. Picking that one up will be Harris. He'll make the play, and that will retire the side. One run on one hit, a solo home run by Bobby Bonilla. The score is now 1-0 Pittsburgh, heading into the bottom of the second. Walk will look at the middle of the Dodgers order as well. Leading off the bottom of the second will be Brett Butler. Both of his home runs coming against right-handed pitching in 91. Walk gets the sign from Slot. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Seven is a tough 32, and against a righty, Butler will get a hold of that one, and that will be a leadoff base hit for the Dodgers. There's got to be some desperation here with the Dodgers. Here's Eddie Murray. Murray hit 13 of his 19 home runs against right-handed pitching. Butler, jump of 6 against a hole of 7. And he would be a C3, which would be a normal chance. Butler is going to stay put. The Pirates infield, though, will move to double play depth. Walk will get the sign from Slot. He'll glance over to Butler at first. Walk will set. He'll turn back to Murray at the plate. Here's the pitch. Eight is a tough 96. It's a fly ball into left field. Bonds ranging back for that one, but he'll have room before the track to make the catch, and that will be the first out of the inning. And here's Chris Gwynn. Gwynn hit all five of his home runs against right-handed pitching, and he's got quite impressive home run power. Walk gets the sign from Slot. Walk knows he's got to be careful. A mistake is probably headed to Mars. He will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a tough 63, and that's going to be a ground ball over to short. Let's see if the Pirates can turn the double play and get out of the, get out of the inning. Six or less on 2D6. No! Butler will be thrown out at second. Gwyn will make first, but there will be two outs in the inning. And here's Gary Carter. Carter hit three of his six home runs against right-handed pitching. Walk will get the sign from Slot. He'll glance over to Gwyn. Gwyn is not going to go anywhere on the bases. Walk will get the sign from Slot. He will set. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 80. And it's a fly ball into center field. Van Slyke will range in for that one. He'll make the play on the run, and that will retire the side. One hit, but the Dodgers are not able to do anything with it. The score remains 1-0 Pirates after two. Top of the third coming up, and we'll be looking at the bottom of the Pirates order due up next. Ojeda will finish up his warm-up tosses as Andy Van Slyke will step into the batter's box. He hit four of his 17 home runs against left-handed pitching in 91. 
Ojeda knows he's got to have a short memory on that solo bomb to Bobby Bonilla. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the windup. And here's the pitch. Eight is a tough 98. It's a fly ball into right field. Strawberry ranging back for that one, but he'll have room before the track to haul it in. And that will be the first out of the inning. Here's Bob Walk. Of course, on the pitcher hitting cards, no individualized batting stats for the pitchers. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a tough 20, and Walk's going to get frozen by the high heat for strike three for the second out of the inning. And here's Slot. Slot is 0 for 1 today. He flew out his first time up. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the windup, and here comes the pitch. 8 is a tough 14, and Slot's going to get frozen by a slider that catches the outside corner for strike 3, and the side is retired. 1, 2, 3 go the Pirates in the top of the third. Now we'll move into the bottom of the third, as Walk will be looking at the bottom of the Dodgers order. Here's Alfredo Griffin. No homers on either side in 91. Walk will get the sign from Slot. He will wind up. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 85. It's a ground ball over to short. Ranging to his left for that one is going to be Bell. He'll make the play, and that will be the first out of the inning. And here's Bob O'Hare hitting off of pitcher hitting card 8. Walk gets the sign from Slot. He will wind up. Here's the pitch. 7 is going to be a tough 29. And O'Hare is going to get frozen by a changeup for strike 3. That will be the second out of the inning. And here's Harris. Harris grounded out his first time up. Walk gets the sign from Slot. Dodger Stadium hoping to see something from the Dodgers. Walk will wind up, and here's the pitch. Six is a patient 74, and it's going to be a ground ball over to short. Once again, we're calling Bell's name. He'll make the play, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers in the bottom of the, of the third. And after three, score remains 1-0 in favor of the, of the Pirates, as Bobby Bonilla's solo home run remains our difference. Top of the fourth, we'll be looking at the 2-3-4 of the Pirates' order, due up next. Ojeda finishes up his warm-up tosses, as stepping into the batter's box to lay off the top of the fourth is Jose Lind. Lind grounded out his first time up today. Ojeda will look into Carter for the sign. Here's the windup, and here comes the pitch. 12 is a ballpark 26. Uh-oh. Wheelhouse. Lind thinks he's got a hold of one. And that's going to be enough for a base hit. Lind will reach to lead off the inning with a base hit. And here's Bonds. Bonds today is 0 for 1. He grounded out his first time up. The Dodgers will go to double play depth. Lind would be a C3, which is also a normal chance. He's going to stay put. Bonds, besides, has got pretty good power and a pretty good eye while we're at it. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. Ojeda will set, and here's the pitch. Four is an in play 36. And it's going to be popped up on the infield. Getting under that one is going to be Harris. He'll make the catch for the first out of the inning. And here's Bobby Bonilla. But he is the reason we have a 1-0 game right now with a solo homer back in the second. Ojeda knows he's got to be very careful with Bonilla. Another mistake probably extends this Pirates lead. Ojeda will look over to Lind at second. He'll turn back to Bonilla at the plate. 
Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. Game four of the NLCS. Top of the fourth. Pirates lead 1-0. Pirates win. They get to rest for the World Series. Dodgers win. Game five is on Saturday afternoon. Ojeda gets the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the pitch. Four is an in-play 88. That's going to be a ground ball over to short. Griffin will pick that one up. We'll see. We need to see if they turn the double play, though. It's going to be a six or less on 2D6. No! Lind will be thrown out at second. Benio will reach first on the fielder's choice, and there will be two outs in the inning. And here's McClendon with two outs in the inning. McClendon today grounded out his first time up. Ojeda gets the sign from Carter. Dodger Stadium, a little bit nervous. This is a very powerful Pirates lineup. Ojeda will set. Here's the pitch. Four is an in-play 45, and it's going to be a ground ball right back to Ojeda. Ojeda will underhand that to first, and that will retire the side. One hit, but the Pirates are not able to do anything with it. We remain at one nothing Pirates, heading into the bottom of the fourth. Walk will finish up his warm-up tosses, as he'll be looking at the 2-3-4 of the Dodgers order as well. Here's Juan Samuel. Samuel today is... Samuel today is 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. Walk will get the sign from Slot. He will wind up. Here's the pitch. 9 is an in-play 27. And against a righty, Samuel will get a hold of that one, and that will be a leadoff base hit. The infield will go to double play depth. Here's Strawberry. Strawberry today is 0 for 1. He flew out his first time up. Walk knows he's got to be careful with Strawberry. Walk will get the sign from Slot. Samuel not going anywhere. Walk will set. He'll glance over to Samuel. Turn back to Strawberry. Here's the kick. And here's the pitch. Three is a wheelhouse 15. And the Dodgers have just taken the lead with a boom! That ball is hit high. That ball is hit deep to right field. Going back for that one is Reedus. He's back to the track. Back to the wall. And that ball is in the upper deck somewhere. Home run, Daryl Strawberry. And the score is now 2-1 to one in favor of the Dodgers. Stadium cheers. Yay! Here's Butler. Butler today is 1-for-1 one one with a single. 2-1 to one Dodgers. Game 4 of the NLCS, bottom of the 4th. Walks, got to shake that one off by Strawberry. He will get the sign from Slot. Walk will wind up. Here's the pitch. Seven is a tough 27. And against a righty, Butler will get a hold of that one and he'll have another base hit. Here's Murray. Murray today is 0 for 1. He hit into... He grounded out. Walk. Is suddenly having some trouble here in the top of the bottom of the fourth. Walk will get the sign from Slot. Butler not a danger to do much on the base pass. Walk will set. Here's the pitch. Six is a patient 82. And it's going to be a ground ball over to short. Picking that one up is going to be Bell. We need to see if they turn the double play. It will be a six or less on 2D6. No! Butler will make second. Murray will be thrown out at first on the sacrifice hit. And here's, here's Chris Gwynn. Gwynn today, he grounded out into a fielder's choice his first time up. Could they try to bunt here to move Butler over to third? 
Gwynn's not a good bunter, and he's got pretty good power. The Dodgers are going to let him swing away. Walk will get the sign from Slot. He will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is a tough six, and Gwynn's going to get frozen by a curveball for strike three for the second out of the inning. Voice got a little raspy for a second there. Seems like it's fine now, though. Here's Carter. Carter today is 0 for 1. He flew out his first time up. Walk, trying to get out of the inning with just the two runs. Walk will get the sign from Slot. He will set. Here's the pitch. 7 is a tough 36. And against a righty, Carter will get a hold of that one. And that will be a base hit as the Dodgers will extend their lead. Butler will come in to score. Carter will make first. And the score is now 3-1 to one in favor of the Dodgers. Stadium cheers. Yay! And here's Griffin. Griffin today is 0-1. He grounded out his first time up. 3-1 Dodgers. Bottom of the fourth. Game four of the NLCS. Walk will get the sign from Slot. He will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is a tough 87. It's a ground ball over to short. Bell will pick that one up. He'll take it over to the bag himself, and that will retire the side. But one and inning for the Dodgers. Three runs on four hits. One of them being a, one of the hits being a solo home run by Daryl Strawberry, and the score is now three to one Dodgers after four. Top of the fifth coming up, and we'll be looking at the middle of the Pirates' order due up next. Ojeda will finish up his warm-up tosses. He's got to be feeling pretty good right now about having a 3-1 lead. Stepping into the batter's box is Jay Bell. Bell lined out his first time up. 3-1 Dodgers. Game 4 of the NLCS. Dodgers win. Game 5 will be Saturday afternoon. Pirates win. They get some rest for the World Series. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. He will wind up. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be a patient 81. Ooh, just missed that one, but that's going to be a fly ball into center field. Butler will come under that one. He'll make the catch, and that will be out number one. Bell can't believe he couldn't get a hold of that one. He would have had a base hit with one less. Here's Reedus. Reedus grounded out his first time up. Ojeda gets the sign from Carter. Here's the windup. Here's the pitch. 10 is a patient 77, and that's going to be another fly ball into center field. Once again, not Carter, Butler will get under that one as well. He'll make the catch for the second out of the inning. And here's Van Slyke. Van Slyke flew out his first time up. Ojeda gets the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 39. And Van Slyke's going to swing through the high heat for strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Pirates in the top of the fifth. As now Walk will be looking at the top of the Dodgers order coming up in the bottom of the fifth. Leading off for the Dodgers will be Bob Ojeda. Ojeda today is 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. Walk will get the sign from Slot. He will wind up, and here's the pitch. Seven is a tough 18, and Ojeda's going to get frozen by the high heat for strike three, and that will be out number one. And the, this is the fourth strikeout today for Walk. Here's Lenny Harris. Harris today is 0 for 2. He's grounded out twice. Grounded out, or... Yes, grounded out twice. Walk will get the sign from Slot. Here's the windup, and here comes the pitch. Ten is a defense check. Somebody's got to play defense for the Pirates. Where's that ball being hit? 
That ball is at the shortstop. Going after that is Bell on an error chance. His error rating is a two. He stunk. And he can't get to that one. That will be... That's going to be a two-base error. He's going to pick it up, drop it, and then he's going to throw it wild. And Harris will be safe at second with a two-base error on an E6. Pirates bench is not happy. Here's Samuel. Samuel today is one for two with a single. A single would be very bad for Walk here. We're going to get some activity in the Pirates bullpen, actually, as starting to get loose for the Pirates. They're going to get Neil Heaton starting to warm up in the Pirates bullpen. Walk will get the sign from Slot. He will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is an in place six. And against a righty, Samuel's going to get a hold of that one. That's going to get all the way to the wall. And that's going to be a triple. Harris will score. Samuel will find himself at third. And the score is now four to one in favor of the Dodgers. Stadium cheers. Yay! Here is Daryl Strawberry, ever dangerous as always. Strawberry also has a two-run homer. That's the reason the Dodgers have the lead. The corner, the infield, is going to play in. Heaton warming up. He'll be ready to come in any time. Walk will get the sign from Slot. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 41. And Strawberry is going to swing through a changeup for strike three. That will be the second out of the inning. Trying to adjust my sheet there. And here's Brett Butler. Butler today is two for two with two singles. Walk hoping to get out of the inning with just the one run. Walk will get the sign from Slot. Walk will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is an in play 63. It's a fly ball into left field. Bonds ranging in for that one, but he'll have room before the infield. He'll make the catch, and that will retire the side. One run on two, one run on, on a two base error and one hit. And the score is now four to one in favor of the Dodgers after five. Just making sure I've got my lineup right. Top of the sixth, and we're going to see the top of the Pirates order do up next. The pitcher spot is due up first as Ojeda finishes his warm-up tosses. Walk is going to come out of the game, though. Coming in to pinch hit for the Pirates will be... It'll actually be Steve Buscelli. He hit three of his four home runs against right against left-handed pitching. I'll make a note here. Actually, I'm making a couple notes here. All right. So we are all set there. Okay. Ojeda will look in at Carter for the sign. Ojeda will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a tough 21, and Buscelli's going to get frozen by a curveball for strike three for the first out of the inning. And here's Slot. Slot today... I'm going to swap out the pitcher hitting card. There we are. Slot today is 0 for 2. Ojeda with a three-run lead all of a sudden. Dodgers looking to evade the death blow from the Pirates. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is a tough 78. 
And it's a fly ball into center field. Butler will get under that one, and that will be the second out of the inning. Here's Jose Lind. Lind is, oh, is one for two today. Dodgers with a 4-1 lead in the top of the sixth. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the pitch. 10 is a patient 12. And that's ball four. Lind will work a walk out of that at bat. And here's Barry Bonds. Bonds today is 0 for 2. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. Dodgers lead 4-1. Ojeda will set. Here's the pitch. 7 is going to be a tough 10. And Bonds is going to get frozen by a slider for strike 3. Side will be retired. Nothing across except for the walk for the Pirates. And the score remains 4-1 as we head into the bottom of the 6th. Oop, other way. Coming into pitch for the Pirates will be Neil Heaton. 3-3 uh, three and three with a 4.33 ERA. 68 and two-thirds innings pitched. 70 hits, 6 homers, 21 walks, 34 strikeouts in 91. He will be charged leading off with the middle of the Dodgers order. Leading off the bottom of the, the, bottom of the sixth is Eddie Murray. Murray today is 0 for 2. Heaton will look into slot for the sign. Heaton will wind up, and here's the pitch. 8 is an in-play 24, and against the lefty, that's just going to miss. That's going to be popped up on the infield. Lind will get under that one. He'll make the catch for the first out of the inning. And here's Gwyn. Gwyn today is 0 for 2. Heaton looking into slot for the sign. Dodger Stadium buzzing. They know they're getting ready for Game 5 on Saturday. Heaton will set. Here's the pitch. 10 is a tough 67. And that's going to be a ground ball over to short. Bell will pick that one up. He'll make the play for the second out of the inning. And here's Carter. Carter today is 1 for 2 with a single. Heaton will look in at slot for the sign. He will wind up. Here's the pitch. 8 is an in-play 32. And it's popped up straight up the chimney. Getting under that one is going to be slot. He'll throw his mask away, make the catch, and that will retire the side. 1, 2, 3, go the Dodgers in the bottom of the 6th. But the score remains 4-1 Los Angeles after 6. Top of the 7th, and we'll be looking at the middle of the Pirates order due up next. Ojeda will finish up his warm-up tosses as stepping into the batter's box will be Bobby Bonilla. Bonilla hit the solo homer back in the second. That so far is the Pirates' only scoring, but he's one for two today. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 52, and that's going to be a ground ball over to third. Picking that one up will be Harris. He'll make the play for the first out of the inning. And here's McClendon. McClendon is 0 for 2. Ojeda hoping to hold this 4-1 lead. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. He will set, and here's the pitch. 9 is an in-play 96. It's a fly ball into left field. Gwynn will get under that one. He'll make the catch for the second out of the inning. And here's Bell. Bell today is 0 for 2. Ojeda will get the sign. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. 
three is a wheelhouse 33. And against the lefty, Bell will extend the inning, and that's going to be a double. Here's Reedus. Reedus today is over for 2. Bell over at 2nd. Ojeda looking like glancing over to him. Bell not a threat to do much on the base paths, though. Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the pitch. 8 is going to be a tough 44. And against the lefty, Carter will, Reedus will get a hold of that one, and that will be a base hit. Bell will come in to score with two outs. Reedus will make it to first. And the score is now... The score is now 4-2 to two in favor of the Pirates. Here's Van Slyke. Van Slyke today is 0-2. We are going to get some activity in the Dodger bullpen as starting to warm up. Is going to be Tim Cruz. Van Slyke will get the sign from, or not Van Slyke, Ojeda will get the sign from Carter. Van Slyke will wait for the pitch. Ojeda will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is an in-play 93. It's a fly ball into right field. Strawberry ranging back for that one, but he'll have room to make the catch, and that will retire the side. One run on two hits. Score is now 4-2 to two Pirates, or 4-2 to two Dodgers, I should say, as we move into the bottom of the 7th. Just going to get a little stretch in here. Okay. Keaton will be looking at the bottom of the Dodgers order. Leading off the bottom of the 7th is going to be Alfredo Griffin. Griffin is 0-2 for 2 today. Keaton will look in at slot for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. Six is an in-play 35. And that's going to just miss. That's going to get popped up on the infield. Lind will get under that one. He'll make the play for the first out of the inning. Ojeda is going to come out of the game. I'll compile stats for him real quick. Ojeda leaves in line for the win. Let's see, he gave up one, two, three, four hits. Ojeda actually had a pretty good outing, all things considered. Don't think he walked anybody. Walked one. Struck out one, two, three, four, five. Five. No hit batters, no wolf box, no wild pitches. Faced 26. All right, so Ojeda's out of the game, coming in to pinch hit for the Dodgers. Wait, we haven't even rolled Griffin's at bat. Oh, no, he he hit into something bad. So, so Ojeda's out of the game, coming in to pinch hit for the Dodgers will be Mitch Webster. He hit his only home run against left-handed pitching. Just finishing making up some notes here. Okay. Now that we've got all that set, Heaton will get the sign from Slot. He will set. Webster hoping for a good hoping for something to hit. Heaton will kick. Here's the pitch. Eight is an in place 71. That's gonna be a ground ball over to over to second. Lind will pick that one up. He'll throw it over to first for the second out of the inning. Here's Harris. Harris today is over two, but he reached on an error, on a two base error back in the fifth. Heaton will get the sign from slot. He will set. Here's the pitch. Five is a tough 49, and it's a ground ball over to first. Picking that one up is going to be McClendon. He'll make the play of the bag himself, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers in the bottom of the seventh. 
Score is still is now 4-2 Pirate or 4-2 Dodgers. I keep wanting to say 4-2 Pirates. 4-2 Dodgers after 7. Top of the 8th, and we'll be looking at the bottom of the Dodgers order due up next. Heaton is going to come out of the game. Let me compile stats for him real quick. No hits, no runs, no earned. Wait, should be four runs, three earned. Walk. Let's see, no walks, nothing else of interest. Faced seven. Coming in to pinch hit for the Pirates. Coming in to pinch hit for the Pirates is going to be... Actually, coming in to pitch for the Dodgers will be Tim Cruz. 2-3 and three with a 3.43 ERA. 76 innings pitched. 75 hits. 7 homers. 19 walks. 53 strikeouts in 91. Coming in to pinch hit for the Pirates now will be... Hmm... It's going to be Orlando Merced coming in to pinch hit for the Pirates. All ten of his homers coming against right-handed pitching. He's going to be charged with getting on board to... St it would help if I note this on the right score sheet. Okay. Now that we've got that out of the way, Cruz will get the sign from Carter. Merced hoping to get something started for the Pirates. Cruz will set. Here's the pitch. Seven is a tough 54. And against a righty, Merced will lead off the inning with a base hit. Um, right. I don't know if I mentioned this, but we do also have activity in the Pirates' bullpen as Roger Mason is starting to get loose for the Pirates. We also, okay. All right, the infield will go to double play depth. Here's Don Slot. Slot today is 0 for 3. Merced is a C, still a C3. Mm, I believe C3, which is a normal chance. Are they going to try to bunt here? Mm. It's tempting to try to bunt, but... And Slot does hit into double plays fairly often. Um... It's a two-run game. I don't think you bunt here. It's tempting to try to bunt, but I don't think they're going to. Merced's also a normal steal, so they're not going to take a chance on that either. They need the base runners too much, so Slot is not going to bunt, even though it's tempting. Cruz... We'll get the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is an in-plane 91. It's a ground ball over to short. Samuel, or not Samuel, Griffin will pick that one up. We need to see if they turn two. It's going to be an eight or less. Ooh, I probably should have had him bunt. No! Merced will be thrown out. Slot will make second on the fielder's choke. Or Slot will make it on the fielder's choice. One out in the inning. Oops, slot made first for Jose Lind. Lind today is, oh, is one for one for two with a single and a walk. Slot is a jump of two against a hold of ten. Um, and he's a B three, which is actually a very good chance. Slot's gonna try to get the jump actually. Jump of, t jump of two against a hold of ten, needs a 63 or less, and he would be off on a very good chance. A 99 means he will stay put. So Cruz will turn and deal with Lind. Carter will give him the sign. Cruz will set. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be a tough 48. 
And that's going to be a ground ball over to first. Let's see if they can turn the double play, though. It's going to be an 8 or less on 2d6. Side retired. Side retired. Murray will get to that one. He'll throw it over. He'll throw it up to Griffin. Griffin will turn and fire back to Murray, and that will be a 3-6-3 three, three, twin killing, and the side is retired. Stadium cheers. Yay! And it is sure looking like game four is going to be, or game five is going to be on Saturday. Heaton will come out of the game. Coming in to pitch for the Pirates will be Roger Mason. We are going to get activity in the Dodger bullpen. Three, Mason, 3-2 and two, three and two with a 3.03 ERA. 29 and two-thirds innings pitched. 21 hits. Two homers. Six walks. 21 strikeouts. Starting to get loose for the Dodgers is going to be... Mm. Jay Howell is going to start to get loose for the Dodgers in the bullpen. As Mason will be charged with the 2-3-4 of the Dodgers order. Leading off the bottom of the 8th will be Juan Samuel. Samuel has been able to play small ball today as he is 2-for-3 with a single and a triple. Mason will look into slot for the sign. Mason will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is a patient 17, and that's ball four. Samuel will work a walk out of that at bat. And the Dodgers will lead off the inning with a walk. Here is the ever-dangerous Daryl Strawberry. Strawberry is one for, th one for three, but that one hit was a two-run home run. Samuel is a jump of four against a hold of seven. Uh, he's going to stay put. Mason will get the sign from Slot. Mason will set. Pirates will go to double play depth. Mason will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is a patient 45. And that's ball four. Strawberry will work a walk out of that at bat as well. And he will be on as well. And here's Butler. Butler today is two for three. Two for three with two singles. Mason knows a mistake probably means we're playing on Saturday for game five. Mason will get the sign from slot. He will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is a patient 88. And Butler is patient enough to get a base hit out of that one. Sharp liner into center field. Runner on first advances two bases. Runner on second scores. Samuel will come in to score. Strawberry will go to third. Butler will make first. And the score is now... So Samuel makes third. Makes Strawberry makes third. Strawberry scores. Butler's on first. Score is now 5-2 to two in favor of the Dodgers. Stadium cheers. Yay! And here's Eddie Murray. Murray is 0 for 2 with a sacrifice hit. The infield is going to bring the corners... Actually, the infield is going to play in. They don't want Strawberry to score. They want to still have a chance in this game. Mason will get the sign from Slot. He will set. Here's the pitch. 11 is a ballpark 8. Uh-oh. Wheelhouse. Murray thinks he's got a hold of one. What he's got a hold of is a fly ball into, into left field. Bonds will get under that one for the first out of the inning, but that will be plenty deep enough to score Strawberry. And the score is now 6, will now be 6-2 to two L.A., After the sacrifice fly. Stadium cheers. Yay! And here's Chris Gwynn. Gwynn today is 0 for 3. The infield will go to double play depth. 
Butler, not a threat to do much on the base paths. Mason will look in the slot for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough two. And Gwyn's going to get frozen by a curveball for strike three for the second out of the inning. Here's Gary Carter. Carter today is one for three with a single. Mason will get the sign. Mason will get the sign from slot. Dodger Stadium buzzing. Already looking to buy their tickets to game five on Saturday. Mason will set. Here's the pitch. Six is a tough ten. And Carter's going to get frozen by the high heat for strike three. And that will retire the side. But further damage has been done. Two runs on two walks and a base hit. Makes the score 6-2 LA after eight. Top of the ninth, and we're going to be looking at the at the heart of the Pirates' order. Tim Cruz is going to come out of the game. Coming into pitch will be Jay Howell, six and five with a three point one eight ERA, sixteen saves, fifty one innings pitched, thirty nine hits, three homers, eleven walks, and forty strikeouts in ninety one. In order for the Dodgers to extend the season in this game, he's got to go through the heart of the Pirates' order. Leading off the top of the ninth will be Barry Bonds. Bonds is 0 for 3 today. You almost think he's due. Dodger Stadium on their feet. They're starting to book their tickets for Game 5. Howell will get the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the pitch. 8 is a tough 40. And Bonds is going to smack that one into... Left field for a base hit. Pirates are saying, hold on, guys. We're not quite done yet. Here's Bobby Bonilla. The Pirates, or the infield will go to double play depth. Bonilla has not done much since the second when he hit that solo home run. Bonds is a jump of seven against the hold of seven. And B3 would be a very good chance. They're going to try to get the jump. Actually, would they try to get the jump with Bonds? Hmm... No, I think they need the base runner too much. Howell will get the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the pitch. Ten is a tough one. Bonilla's going to get frozen by the heat for strike three. That will be the first out of the inning. <sighs> we have somebody who hits righties better. McClendon... I'm just going to take a look at look for McClendon real quick, but I think I used our other first baseman when he was pinch hit. When he pinch hit. Now we got another fielder we can bring in. So McClendon is going to come out of the game, and if the game continues, taking over at first base and batting fifth. Will be Gary Varsho. Varsho hit. Varsho hit four of his, all four of his home runs against right-handed pitching. Dodger infield still at double play depth. Howell will get the sign from Carter. Dodger Stadium on their feet. Howell will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a tough, six, tough 16. And Varsho is going to get frozen by a curveball for strike three for the second out of the inning. And the last chance for the Pirates comes down to Jay, Va Jay Bell. Bell is one for three with a double. Two outs in the inning. Game five looks like it's going to be Saturday at the rate we're going. Howell gets the sign from Carter. He will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is a patient 21. And that's ball four. Pirates are saying, not so fast, guys. We've still got this broom that we want to use. Here's Gary Reedus. Reedus today is one for three with a single. Two outs in the inning. Top of the ninth. Pirates are trying to channel some ninth inning magic here. Howell will get the sign from Carter. 
Dodger Stadium, hoping for a good pitch. Bonds has very good speed. Howell will set. Here's the pitch. 12 is an in-play 20. And against a righty, that's going to be a base hit. Bonds will come in to score with two outs. Bell will make third. Reedus will make first. And the score is now 6-3 to three in favor of the Pirates. Or in favor of the Dodgers. I keep slipping. Pirates are saying, not so fast, guys. We're not dead yet. And here's Andy Van Slyke. Van Slyke today is 0 for 3. If you remember, Game 3 of the NLDS against the Braves, the Dodgers had a lot of problems with two outs. They're hoping that doesn't happen again here. Howell will get the sign from Carter. Dodger Stadium, suddenly a little bit nervous. Howell will set. Here's the pitch. Two is a wheelhouse 86. It's a ground ball over to second. Getting a hold of that one is a Samuel. He's, he'll pick it up himself. He'll jump on the bag. And that will be your game. Dodgers avoid the sweep from the Pirates as they win this one by a final score of 6-3. to three. Stadium cheers. Yay! Final line score coming up. For the, Pirate, for the Dodgers, six runs on seven hits and no errors. For the Pirates, three runs on seven hits and one error. Bob O'Hader will be the winning pitcher, and Bob Walk will end up with the loss. That will do it for this playthrough of Payoff Pitch Baseball. Later this afternoon, we're going to have game, game five of the American League Championship Series between the Oakland Athletics and the Kansas City Royals. We'll have a rematch of game one as Mike Moore goes for the Athletics and Kevin Apier goes for the Royals. Game 5 of, the, of this series will be on Saturday, as we'll also have a rematch of Game 1. It'll be Doug Drabeck going for the Pirates, and I forget who the Dodgers' number 1 starter is, but it will be a matchup of number 1s in that series. As for what else is coming up on the channel, Saturday Mystical Munchies will start out of the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Black Spire Outpost Cookbook with the appetizer, Cat's Kettle Corn. Sunday we're playing Space Empires 4X, game number 6 on my Tack Up Wargaming list. Wednesday, we're playing Astro Knights by Andy Boards and Cards. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care, everyone.